with As The Tea Brews. Um, so we just got back from a, a week long, a little over a week long trip to California and um, we spent a lot of time in San Francisco and one of the things that I really wanted to do was to go to this shop called Vital Tea Leaf. Um, and they've got, I think, three or four locations in Chinatown. We actually just went to the first one that we found, and uh, there was nobody in there except the um, lady who was working. And um, it's just, they have a beautiful tea bar in there, and they'll serve you samples of tea, and then you can purchase tea and teaware and everything. And I had read really good things about this company. Um, and so I was excited to go in and try. And if you go to their website, I'll uh, link it down below. Uh, the founder, I think his name is Uncle G, um, is really passionate about tea and how beneficial tea is for your health. And um, they have a couple videos on there um, where he actually describes how tea, um, the Chinese people didn't take pills uh, because pills are synthetic and manufactured but they would drink tea um, for ailments in your body and to um, help you be healthy. And so um, I got some great tips from the person that was working today and um, I'm excited to show you what we bought. And yeah, so um, we had, let's see, there was actually over 20 of us with the family reunion, about 26 people. Um, but there was, I think, 11 of us that went to Chinatown that day. My family, my sister's family, and um, my mom. And so all 11 of us went into the shop. Um, well, first Abby and I went in there and we had our first sample and then everybody else wandered over. So here's a picture of Abby and I at the shop before everybody else wandered into the store. And so everybody, the kids and, um, and the adults all really enjoyed um, hearing about the teas and they were so kind. She just made us as many different kinds as we wanted to try and um, everybody got samples and we, get, we got to retry some and I really highly recommend it. I think it was that if you are, if you do go to San Francisco, I think it was the 905 Grant shop, um, but I'm sure that they're all are very similar. Um, okay, so we bought and I have this bag and I've got, my mom bought some tea and I bought some tea um, and I think I might have come home with the tea that she bought to keep at her house or I'm, maybe these were all to keep at my house because I'm, when she comes to visit I'm the one that makes tea. She doesn't usually make tea for herself at home unless it's a tea bag and so, um, you know, she might not make the, the loose tea at home. But um, the first sample that they gave us was this Blue People Ginseng Oolong and this is a beautiful uh, dark oolong. Let's see, can you see the label? And this is one of their most popular blends, or not blend, but teas. And um, I can't remember right now what it tasted like because this was um, last week sometime, but um, this is a nice big bag of it. And I'm gonna open this one. I haven't, we haven't opened any of these. We just got back less than 24 hours ago and we've been working on unpacking and doing laundry and I already uploaded another video. <laughs> You'll have to check that one out if you haven't. Um, okay, so this smells very um, grassy, very green and strong, um, but I, I don't love teas that um, are super green and grassy tasting, and so this one must not have tasted like that. I can't remember what it tastes like. If you're interested in another video where I sample these teas um, and show you how they made them for us using a, I believe it's called a gaiwan. I, I meant to look that up before I did this video and I forgot, so I apologize if that's wrong. But um, if you're interested in hearing about how these all taste, then I can do another video showing you that. But this one I'll just um, share my haul with you. So we actually got two bags of this. And the reason is um, my mom really liked this tea and also, and so she knew that we'd be drinking a lot of it when she was at my house. Um, and so we have two bags of it. I bought one and she bought one. Or she might have bought them both for both of us, I think. Um, and this one my mom purchased um, to keep here for sure because this is a milk oolong. And I don't really care much for milk oolong. I know a lot of people do. Even my husband said he um, liked this one. It was like a creamy, creamy tasting oolong. Maybe it'll grow on me, but um, I'm just not a big fan of milk oolong. Maybe, maybe it just smells too much like the David's Tea milk oolong, which I really don't like. Um, but maybe I'll try this one again. Um, and so the last tea that I bought before I show you the teaware is, um, and I got this one, I think my mom bought those and I bought this one, and the name is not on here. Ah! This one, I think it was a white peony, uh, a white peony tea, and it's this huge bag because it's this white tea, and so it's very light. 
And I really, really enjoyed this. I really enjoy drinking white teas um, because of the lighter taste and, and flavor. And this was a really beautiful one. She said uh, this was a little bit higher end tea. Um, and she gave me a really good deal on it. Uh, and so um, I'm really appreciative of that. Um, and so, okay. And then, so those are the teas that I bought. And what I found was really interesting. And I feel like I've heard this before, but I don't do it with the uh, David's teas or any of the other teas that I have, um, it's important to rinse them with hot water. And I don't know if it's just the Chinese teas. If anybody knows, you'll have to let me know. Um, but they do say uh, how much tea to put in, and then they say rinse. And then she only brews these, the oolongs. She only brews the oolongs for 30 seconds. Um, so she puts in the hot water, drains it out, and then adds the hot water, and just brews it 30 seconds, and then, um, pours the tea. And that's because she said there's a lot of dust and other things on the tea sometimes, and so you want to cleanse the cleanse the tea. And she said, uh, and the bags say you can reuse these up to eight times. Um, so that's, that's kind of fun. Okay, and then I ended up getting, which one is it? Okay, it's this one. Nope. Yeah, this one. <laughs> I can't figure out which one's which. I haven't opened these since we've been home. So I got this Gaiwan, and I think that's what it is called, but it's um, what she brewed tea in for us, and um, they use it a lot for like tea tastings and stuff, and it's just this open cup, and it has this little saucer, and it's this beautiful kind of greenish, bluish design with a yellow um, dragon on it, and it's got the yellow lid, and the saucer is yellow and with that green design. Um, and so this is really, really pretty. Um, but what she actually did was she took the lid and she mixed up the tea like this for a little part of the 30 seconds. And she said you don't have to do that, but um, kind of made a fun presentation. So she did that, and then what she did, and I have plenty of tea brewing supplies at home. I did not need to buy more tea brewing supplies. Um, but I just thought it was such a neat presentation that I wanted to go ahead and get this. Um, so I got this little strainer, and it fits on this little glass carafe, and um, she just poured the tea through there, and it drained in. So to the first one, when I go to um, rinse the tea, I'll put the hot water in, and then just drain it out and dump it out with this, and then I'll put it into the glass carafe, and then I can serve it from this. And one of the other really fun things that I got, well, the last thing that I got, and one of the things I thought was the most fun, is that I got some little tasting cups to go with it. So this guy one does not brew a whole lot of tea. And th these are the size cups that we tasted the tea with in the shop. Um, but I got, I got six of them, so we could do it when my mom's here. Um, and I got, let's see, three reds. And they have, they're red and they have a little gold dragon on them. And they're these tiny little tasting cups. And they, I can't get this to focus, there it goes. And they are so stinking cute. Um, the yellow one has the dragon, the gold dragon. And then I own, there was only, the reason I got three reds is because I could only find one other design with the dragon. So I kind of wanted them all to be similar. It's almost like a dark green, almost black cup. And it has the little uh, gold dragon on there. And so um, we'll make it in the guy one and then put it into a little glass, glass carafe and then do our little tea tastings. And I mean, obviously these aren't going to be what we drink a big cup of tea out of, um, but I thought this would be a lot of fun if we wanted to try some new teas or do some little tastings or just kind of experience that Chinatown um, feel. And so I'm excited to try those. So I will be washing all of these up soon and putting them with my supplies. If you are interested in me doing a demonstration of all this once I get it figured out, I would love to make a video um, as well for that. And um, that's it. That's what I got from Vital Tea Leaf. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've ever tried their teas um, or if you've used one of these uh, guy ones before. Let me know what your um, tips are or uh, thoughts are in the comments and we'll see you next time. Bye!